forget she's got her own cool open she now. She does. She's a big deal. She earned it. Hey, yeah. it's 838 now. Time to create with Quimby. Herbs are among the most popular plants for many of us to grow at home. So this morning we got a fun painting project to help you get organized. Yep, welcoming back our big deal DIY queen, Shannon Quimby, to show us her painted herb pots. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning. Yes, I am a big deal now, aren't I? A big deal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's hilarious. Speaking of herbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... I wanted to paint uh, a blank canvas. That's because that's what I love to do all the time. And my friend Shelly sent me this um, inspirational shot of how to, not even how to, but of uh, uh, painted pots with her herbs. And I thought, ooh, I'll step it up a little bit. Oh, there you go. I can okay. do that. So yeah. what kind of pots are we talking? <laughs> so basically what you do is you just get a pot. This is on, the, say, on the smaller side, about a four and a half inch wide. And you want to paint it, notice the three pots, are, they're all the same color, but they're all different sizes. That's what unifies and harmonizes with paint. It brings all different shapes together. So you take the, um, this color is called Peter Pan. I love the color. And you just paint around the pot. Um, it's probably going to take two coats to get it all, the, um, to get it all done like that. Yeah, okay? does that terracotta kind of soak it up a little bit? It does, it does, yeah. And it takes about, it, I would let it dry about 20 to 30 minutes in between each coat, okay? Okay. So, let it dry. Then the next uh, step is, um, you get some blue masking tape, and you want to tape around, see this little nice tight line here? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to tape around the masking, the, the pot. Now, there's a, there's sometimes on these, on these pots because they're not straight. It's kind of hard to start taping like that. Yeah, that's uh -huh. me. That's a Jenny tape right there. <laughs> yeah, right? So you, you want to pull it really tight on the edge okay. like this. So when you're when you're when you're taping it, you just want one edge and, and you'll eventually get it to go straight around. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then the next step is oh, this is a really good tip. My friend Pooji Shear told me about this. See this nice crisp line? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So after you tape it, then you take the same color and you paint over the top of that tape. Okay. Because that's going to seal the line. So that makes uh, that that color is not going to uh, go down underneath the tape and get that crusty, you know, unedged. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Emily, you're all over this. I know it. Oh, for sure. As <laughs> yeah. soon as you said perfect edges, I'm like, yes, okay. And I'm all the oh. crusty line is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? That's the best part of DIYing, right? It all right. turns out just according to how we do it. Uh -huh. Sure. And just keep it far yeah. enough away where you can't see the lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then I, get, I got these little sticky letters. They're about a half inch. I got them at um, Office Max Depot. And I put, then you just, you just stick them on right at the top of the edge. So for ba like I got, I'm putting basil in this one. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Then I got this, the next color. This is called Miller Paints Queen of the Night. Ooh. Mm. And you just paint right over the letters. Oh. oh. I was thinking See? you painted the letters on and I was about yeah. to compliment your, your wonderful painting handwriting, but this oh. is a fun little cheat sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, sorry to disappoint you. No, yeah. that's okay. I'm impressed by your creativity always, every week. Yeah. Well, and we want to make it easy for everyone. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, yeah, we like easy. And so, uh, the, again, are you using that free paint that you've told us about that you can get at Miller? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm using all the color samplers, which by the way, end of this month and they're not free anymore. So on Saturdays you can go in and get a free color sampler, okay. any color you want. Cool. Okay. So then the last step, ladies, take, you can't see this, but get a little stick pin and you're gonna peel those little tiny letters off. Okay. 
Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I love it. And, and you can voila. probably find those at Dollar Tree too. Just a, a pro tip there if you know you're uh -huh. looking for sticker yeah. herbs. So cute. Yeah. That I is love so that. Cute. I yeah, my, my herbs need a little refresh. My outdoor garden's not looking great. So this is my next project. Love it, Shannon. <laughs> all Perfect. Right. Thanks, Shannon. All right, for the full instructions and all the supplies you need to complete this DIY, we're gonna post it all for you on coin.com.